This is what you call an unresponsive yo yo. Meaning that if you tug this up, it shouldn't come up. Right now, I have a problem. You see, my bearing decided to uh, malfunction. See that? Hear that crustiness? It's not ideal. I've got tools to fix this problem. It's a very, very minor problem. The only issue is I'm in Queensland in the middle of nowhere right now. I thought it would be a cool idea to try to fix that bearing from scratch. No yo-yo accessories, no fancy equipment, nothing except stuff you can find at a regular hardware store in like Queensland. I don't know if I'm gonna actually succeed at this, but we're gonna give it a shot. We are on a mission to repair the bearing. Go into there. Yes. Turn lighter. The first thing I picked up was lighter fluid, then long nose pliers, right. then three in one oil. Then I went to my mom's handbag, found a safety pin, and then I got a few jars that my dad bought for whatever reason. And to top it off, tissue paper. Let's get to work. First step is unscrew the yo-yo. A lot of you are probably wondering, what the hell did you get these for? If you have an outlier, the model itself, you cannot just pry this out with your bare hands. Now, I do have tools that allow me to get this out while I'm at home. Things like a bearing tool, they come with the ascents, you can get them there. Didn't have one of those, but you can literally remove it with one of these pliers. Crank that, open up that, tug, be gentle with it. You don't want to break your bearing and then pull it out. These are the pins, the safety pins that I got from my mom's handbag. Normally I just use a normal like sewing pin, but just try pick it out with this little pin here. Again, I don't really recommend using a safety pin, but this is all I've got right now. So lift that plate up and voila, haha. Safety pin comes, C-clip comes out. Just tap on the thing like that and you have an open bearing. So as the theory goes, you're supposed to put one part this, three parts this. I've never tried this before. Just want to get your pliers. Again, this is handy. Cut the top open like that. You do not want to apply this directly into the yo-yo. It is too thick. This will make your yo-yo responsive 1000%. All right, pour some of that in there. It fills that up. And you want to put three parts of this stuff. Get your jar of pure lighter fluid, throw this bearing inside here as per usual, and then swish it around in there a little bit. Now you want to get that tissue paper, get this, open that up, boom, put that inside, leave that to dry. If this is a thin lube substitute, I am going to start to vary this up a little bit differently because I want this yo-yo, this bearing to be spinning not just fast, but unresponsive fast. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get this jar, right? I probably made way too much. Like that. I'm just gonna get that tiny little drop and then I'm gonna put that inside the yo-yo. Hear that? That's pretty darn good. It's still a little rattly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a tiny, tiny microscopic drop into it like that. Extra bit there. And you can hear it spinning very, very smoothly now. And I can literally smell this bearing right now. It smells like this stuff, meaning that there is a portion of this lube inside here, but it's a tiny, tiny drop so that it doesn't screw it up. All right, but let's try the final test. Connect all of it like so. All right. <laughs> Look at that. Dead unresponsive. Sick. Even throwing this thing as hard as I can, dead unresponsive. All right, so that worked. There we have it. This entire bearing was fixed with nothing but household products you can find here. No going online, buying fancy yo-yo equipment required. I'm rather proud of myself. All right, that's the end of today's vlog.